and welcome to this episode of WN Stuff. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to my variety channel. Hope your 2023 is uh, going strong, started strong, and will continue to be great. Uh, which I guess the bar isn't like really high from the last couple of years, but either way, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I am reacting to a comic book. Now, as you know, I love Ink Tank, and the Ink Tank has a comic book series called Five Years Later, which is a Danny Phantom, Ben 10 crossover. So I just finished chapter one, and I think the idea is I'm going to read the chapters, kind of do a brief overview of what happened, and then give you my thoughts and what I thought about it, and yeah, we'll just enjoy them together. So whenever we hop back in, we kind of get a re-update for those of us that haven't watched the shows in a little bit kind of explain hey i'm danny phantom in case you didn't know you know i hopped into a uh, a machine and i got these powers and now it takes us a little bit into the future we see where his friends are at this point in their lives uh one's a mayor another one's doing peace rallies uh his dad now they kind of have already figured out the ghost thing so everybody has a way to handle ghost-like situations so his dad doesn't necessarily need ghost hunting to be his hobby anymore he needs to tinker so what he decides to do is he is like well seeing as how the machine was able to take us into the ghost realm uh, maybe it can take us to other areas so he tries and he works on that for a little bit but i can tell that he you know after a little bit he gives up and probably is discouraged and this is like a highly relatable uh, emotional moment in the comic because it's kind of like the dad is sitting there and the way that he's drawn to me was like, ooh, where's my purpose right now? Which is a very adult feeling. So Danny decides to go and study, try to see whether or not he can finish what his dad started. So he gets to it and he's looking through the book and he's working on it and he figures it out. Uh, now, he doesn't want to go to his dad and be like, hey, it's figured out until he's like 100% sure. So he hops in uh, and, you know, takes a little stroll in what happens to be an area called the Null Void. Uh, once Danny is in the Null Void, there is a building of sorts in there that uh, he stumbles across. In doing so, he triggers uh, an alarm, unbeknownst to him, uh, where somebody is going to meet up with him that somebody is going to be a now older Ben Tennyson. So Ben is there and is worried. Ben has a companion. Danny is by himself. Uh, ben is worried that Danny might be like an experiment of sorts. Ben's companion gets readings of ectoplasm once they kind of like start to fight or whatever, which also very cool that we get a fight like right off the bat or at least a little bit. A little bit of a back and forth which is which is funny because Danny really hasn't had to fight anybody in a while uh, so kind of has to shake it off a little bit but in them fighting they wake up a very big bad big bad uh, that decides hey what are you doing you've angered me now I'm gonna attack you whenever this happens we then get a moment where they kind of realize huh maybe Danny isn't bad because now he's decided to help us fight the big bad. So they do some teamwork stuff. They take down the big bad. And uh, we realize, hey, uh, you might be cool. They are a little worried at first because all the information that Danny has given them doesn't match up at all. It even shows them a picture of, uh, how do you not know me? How do you not know me? There's statues of me shows pictures and like they're like these pictures must be doctored or something and that's whenever Danny f completely fills them in about like being from a whole nother different world um, and then that's whenever they're like oh man I guess we're gonna have a lot to talk about and uh, the last bit of the comic falls on the fact that it looks like I think Vlad I forgot to mention earlier in the book Vlad, who is Ben's like arch nemesis, um, who also has similar powers and whatnot, 
was supposed to help Ben at one point um, stop the world from getting hit by this giant. It was called a Disastroid, I remember. But in doing so, kind of shows his true colors and gets sent away. He got sent away, banished from Earth, and had been missing ever since. I think at the very end of the first chapter, we fall on what I think is Vlad finding his way back home. So it's like a pretty cool cliffhanger that they leave you on. They kind of just show you the eyes of the villain, um, but it's in Danny's dimension. So uh, I feel like it's probably Vlad. Um, I think the clothes were even like a little tattered and stuff. So we started off by giving you that bit of information. So ending it very full circle, very nice. This actually got me very excited to jump into more chapters. Hopefully you guys uh, can read along with me. I feel like that'd be cool. What an awesome first chapter. And it's like we get more ink tank. So uh, did you like that or this or any of this? Leave a like. If you dislike that or any of this, be sure to leave a dislike if you hate me. And um, it looks like as of the recording, there is 12 of them and then a couple more on the way. So I am very excited. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace. If, w and stuff. If, 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 if I must die, yeah, then I'll respawn. I mean with a line, yeah, cause they live on. If you double cross me, you can end up in the death. No working so damn hard, yeah, I ain't never take a